Hello there. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to estimate a regression model using two-stage least squares. Just the kind of thing that you will do in preparation for tutorial three in week three. In order to estimate a regression by two-stage least squares in R, we need to first of all download uh, a package. So one of the features of R is that it has lots of these packages that extend its capabilities in lots of different directions. So R itself does not come with the capacity to do two-stage least squares, or it doesn't come with a built-in command to do two-stage least squares. But there are various packages that you can obtain that allow you to do it. The one that we're going to use in this subject is this AER package that's mentioned in the tutorial sheet. So what I'm going to show you today is how to download that package into your R Studio and then how to carry out the instrumental variables regression or the two-stage least squares regression uh, using the commands provided by that package. Uh, okay, so we'll start by opening up R Studio and it opens up like this and here is so I've, I've opened it up immediately to this packages tab that you can click on maybe you've clicked on this already and what you can see under this packages tab in R Studio is a list of all of the packages that are currently installed in my version of R Studio okay uh, now, there, by alphabetical order, you can see that AER is not there. So it's going to be necessary to install that package before we go ahead and do the two-stage least squares regression. So here's what you can do. You go and click on install, and then you type the name of the package that you want. And it helps you, right? It, it gives you the list if you noticed there. It gave me the list of all of the packages that are available starting with the letter A. There's lots of them, right? So we want A, E, R. Okay, and that's it. Make sure that install dependencies is ticked. That will install not just the A, E, R package, but any other packages that A, E, R wants in order to do its job. And there are a few of those. So make sure that install dependencies is, is ticked. Um, and that's it. You just click on install. Um, and then you'll, it uh, goes and accesses the, uh, the R server and it creates a big pile of mess in your console and then it's finished. And you can see now under your packages window this AER package has popped up. Okay, and that's the one that we want. And it's done some others like this CAR is this companion to applied regression and there's another one called LM test further down that wasn't there before. But this AER is the, is the important one. This is the one that we are going to refer to a few times over the next, uh, next several weeks. Um, I, this applied econometrics with R incidentally is a reference to a nice little textbook called Applied Econometrics with R. Uh, written by these these guys here. So it's primarily about showing you how to do econometrics using R. It, it's a nice little resource for for us. Uh, it doesn't cover all of the topics in our subject, um, so it won't quite be a, like a textbook for our subject, but it's a nice resource to help us get started with doing some, some econometrics in R. All right, what we want to do now is return to the tutorial and we've obtained the AR package, we're now in good shape and we're ready to uh, carry out the exercise, which is to obtain this um, data file called birthweight, dot, or a short for birthweight.csv, which contains these observations of birth weights of these newborn babies and some of the characteristics of their parents. So we'll be talking about that in, in the tutorial. If I go over to files here, and I'm going to navigate in to where I'm going to do this work because I'll go into my Dropbox and into this subject and into this particular video. There we are. And I've put the file there. So this is the birthweight.csv data file that I've already put in there. All right. So let's write ourselves a little R script now to read in this data file and to run those regressions required in the, in the tutorial. So we'll set up a new R script. 
like that. And the first thing that we need to do is to read in this data file. Well, actually, the first thing that we need to do is to make sure our working directory is set. So let's do that. Set as working directory, pointing to the directory that I've set up corresponding to this video. And now, let's go. So we'll create a uh, data frame. I'm going to call it BW, short for birth weight. And we'll read dot .csv from the birth weight dot csv file. Okay, just the usual thing that you've done before now. Uh, let's pause there and make sure that that works, right? So we'll save that script. We'll call that birthweight.r. That will do. And let's run that and make sure that we're reading in the data correctly. Okay. Um, so if we open up the environment, we now have the birth weight data frame and there are the there are the numbers there so for instance the first variable is this family income variable which consists of observations 13.5 7.5 0 0.5 and so on if we go back to our files and have a look at that csv file we can see that the first variable is family income with observations 13.5 7.5 0 0.5 and so on so um, you can see that we've read in that data file correctly so far that's good in the tutorial exercise, uh, the first thing it asks you to do is to run a regression of the log of birth weight measured in pounds uh, regressed on the packs, which is a variable which uh, gives us the number of packs of cigarettes smoked by um, the baby's mother um, per day, average per day. Okay, so we want a regression of the log of birth weight on packs. So let's do that. Um, I'll call that, let's say, equation one is LM. So this is just the standard regression at this point. Um, uh, nothing new yet. Uh, the log of birth weight in pounds is going to be regressed on packs and the data can be found in BW. Okay. And why don't we have a look at that to start with. Okay, so let's run that. And when we do it, we have, if we look in the environment, we have an equation now. And I printed out the summary, so there it is. So the SRF in this case has an intercept of 1.996 and a slope coefficient on the PAX variable of minus 0.089. Okay, that's standard OLS. So far, so good. That's the um, first part of part A. I'll leave it to you to think about the coefficient estimates, interpret them and think about do they make sense in this context. Okay, that's something for you to think about. Uh, let's move directly on to part B, which says we now have this possible instrumental variable for the variable packs, which is cigarette prices. Okay, the price um, that the individual, we have a total of 1,388 individuals spread across the US here. Okay, spread across the states of the US and the cigarette price varies uh, for these individuals. So this cigarette price is being used as a possible instrument for PACs. In the tutorial, part of the job of the tutorial is to discuss why that would be. Okay, does that make sense or does that not make sense? Okay, I won't dwell on that now. I just want to show you the computing part of this now uh, and leave the interpretation for the, for the tutorial. Okay, so we're going to use cigarette price as an IV for packs and use two stage least squares to estimate uh, the coefficient. So here's how that works. Now, two stage least squares is estimated by a command that's provided by this AER package. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that this AER package is actually loaded. If that's not loaded into R Studio, so the fact that it's here doesn't mean it's loaded. If we want to load it, we can do one of two things. One, we can simply click here. Okay. And when we click there, it will load the AER library into um, R's memory. 
and notice that the CAR library got uh, package or library got uh, uh, indicated as well. That's because the AER package calls on some procedures from CAR. So sometimes when you click on one package, you'll sometimes magically see other ones appear as well. Once these are indicated, that means you can now use commands from that library. Okay. The other way that you can do that, if you want to code this into your program so that you don't forget to do this uh, every time you return to your work, there is uh, a command which is simply library AR. And that will do the same job as what we just did over here by clicking in this window. Okay, Whichever you do, it will work the same. Uh, there is an advantage to putting this command into your R uh, script because it means that you don't have to remember to click on this um, AER package every time you go into RStudio um, and, and you return to your work. You simply put this library AER into each one of your scripts and then you can forget about it after that. Um, so personally I tend to put the library commands into the programs but if you if you prefer to just click in this window that's fine too it will it will work in either in either case all right let's do the two stage least squares regression or as the AER package calls it an IV regression IV reg like that okay um, so we instead of LM for linear model we use IV reg for an instrumental variables regression. Um, now the formula for the instrumental variables regression is actually the same as what we had up here. Okay, so let's just put that in there. But now what we need to do is uh, include the additional information of what is the instrument for this variable. And the way that we do that is we put in a vertical line like that. Um, so everything before the vertical line is an explanatory variable everything after the vertical line is an instrument. So SIG price is our instrument. Um, and that's it. Okay, That's the command to estimate by two stage least squares a regression of log of birth weight on packs using cigarette price as an instrument for packs. Okay, So that will do, two stage least squares has two stages. This command will do both of those stages and print out you know, stuff like standard errors correctly for you. So you don't have to do the, the two stages yourself manually. Um, okay, let's um, print out a summary of that estimation as well. Okay, so let's run that. And here it is. So our call in this case is the instrumental variables regression of log birth weight on packs. And here are our estimates here, just in the same format as we have for a, for a standard linear regression. An intercept of 1.67 and a slope coefficient on packs of 2.98. Okay, so that's sufficient information for you to carry out the first, for the, to carry out the computation for the first question in part A. And again, I'll leave it to you to co uh, interpret the coefficient estimates that uh, are generated by this instrumental variables regression. Okay, we'll leave it there.